All right, fellas, so today we're going to be working on the white truck again. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to put on us some new sway bar links. These are rear. Uh, I do need to do front ones, but I didn't know that this thing had front sway bar links until today. So, anyway, um, so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. All right, so I know you don't really know what you're looking at. Okay, so this is the old sway bar links. They connect to the sway bar. And I've already taken this nut off, and there was a bushing here and a bushing here. But that one over there, I haven't even messed with yet. And you can see both of the bushings are gone. So that's why we're replacing this. Um, but basically, as far as my current understanding, all you have to do is take out this bottom nut. You get the sway bar actually off of the link. And then take out this top one right here. And there's a nut on the back side of it. So what I'm about to do is take out this, and then our whole link should come out, and we can install our new one. So I'm not too sure how good that clip was, but we got this side out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in the new one now, and I think I'll be able to show you better on that side actually, but anyways, regardless, we're going to go ahead and put in the new one. So basically, that's how it'll be. These two pieces go into the actual sway bar itself. As you can see, that's how this one was. So, go ahead and install our new mug parts, and we'll be ready to go.
So when you get these, they're not going to have these bushings in them. You're going to have to push them in. You can push them in with your hand. But this piece doesn't, I mean, you can you can push it in with your hand. It's kind of hard to get in there. So I had to take a dead blow hammer and lightly tap it in. Make sure that whenever you do that, I have the problem here, the bear, the bushing doesn't actually come back in. Okay. Now my bushing is all the way in, and my pin is all the way in. Now from now, from here you'll see it on the camera, you just stack this up whenever you get it on the sway bar. Okay, so this is a little bit more difficult than I thought it was going to be, and I didn't explain everything thoroughly. So, so what I ended up having to do, because after I made it right, it wouldn't work, is I had to jack up the rear end, put these jack stands on the actual frame, let down the jacks so it would unload the suspension, and I actually really didn't do it far enough, but I got away with it. And I got enough to get the sway bar bushings tight. Um... And it was pretty easy. You just take that bolt out, take that nut out, the sway bar link comes out. Make sure you have the suspension unloaded on the rear end whenever you put your new ones in, and you should be just fine. But that's one thing to remember, guys. Make sure that you jack up the rear end, support it on the frame rails with jack stands so that the leaf springs will be unloaded whenever you're installing your new ones. And that should, you know, allow you to do it. It's really hot out here. All right, guys, so real quick before I end this video, uh, I want to talk about 429. So with what we ended up doing, this is 429. These are the four, four years of 429 heads. Um, I ended up getting new ones because the ones that I had could not be redone for a good enough price. To, um, that's pretty much all I wanted to say about it. But I got all kinds of new stuff here. I've got a new box of lifters here and uh, we've got some more engine tech stuff over there that's actually we actually messed up we only ordered one rocket arm we got to get the rest of those but we have a new push rods oil pump timing chain and timing chain set but this is where our stuff comes in so we've got a melding high performance camshaft here uh, this is supposed to be a stage two, so it's just a little above stock. So it's going to give us a little more power without having to change a bunch of stuff. So this gives me point, uh, 50 cam lift and it opens it at zero degrees top dead center and 49 before, I guess the bottom of, I don't know what BBC means. I'm not, I'll have to, I will still have to, uh, I'll still have to do some more research on this, but anyways, I did want to show it to you guys if I can. He can I open this with one hand? Maybe. Maybe I'll get this open and then restart. So, it's not a roller cam, it's still a flat tap it. But we got that going in new. It didn't come with any Molly Lube, so I'll have to go pick some of that up. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much going to do it. Still have some more things to order. We still got an intake to order. Head bolts are on the way. I got some ARP head bolts for it. Um, so, yeah, lots of big things coming up. I'll try to get you guys some more on the engine whenever we start building it. Now I've got new parts. 
you can go ahead and start actually going together with this thing. But um, yeah, guys. All right, guys. The new sway bar links are installed. I'll test them the next time I drive the truck. It's going to be sitting for a little bit because I got to vet some vacationing coming up. So, anyways, whenever I get back, we'll be sure to test that out. But anyways, guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this video helped. Um, if there's any questions that you have, don't don't be afraid to drop a, a comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, but thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to like, like, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys next time.